So good morning. I guess we'll get started here. Um, one of the things I uh, think is such an important topic when we're talking about our inner spark is uh, how do we deal with change? Um, for me, how I deal with it is probably a little bit different how, than how most people deal with it. Uh, as a life skills coach, I talk about this topic quite a bit in my class in regards to uh, how can we uh, embrace it for what it is. We all have a lot of fears when we thought, talk about change. Um, when I, uh, I guess when I have change in my life, I always try to find the humor in it. I always try to uh, make the best out of the situation. Uh, there was a time in my life, in my history, where I used to fear change. I used to run from change. Um, even changing my clothing. There was, a, there was a fear that what I had on was lucky, that, you know, was keeping me from going to jail. So I had a lot of, uh, I guess, misconceptions. And uh, I was taught those, you know. We, uh, we hear about superstition. I think uh, we, we were grown and raised to have certain fears about certain situations, especially fear, especially change. When we uh, think about how we change um, uh, environments by moving, um, I've moved more in the past four years than I've ever did in, uh, in a quite a while. I lived at this uh, one location for just about 10 years. 10 years, it was a big three-story house, big, it's like a mansion. And I was there for uh, just about 10 years, like I said. And then when we moved out of there because uh, the owner didn't pay the bank, so the bank took, took it back. And then, so I was just like, there has to be a reason why I have to move. And then, so I started looking for a place, I found one and uh, yeah. It was crazy because I had a, a lower back injury. And so I had to get a lot of people to help me because of my lower back. I was just like in so much pain. It felt like my 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 back somehow severed. Um, so I couldn't lift anything. I just felt like I was uh, uh, disabled. You know, I couldn't even lift a box. It was pretty, uh... but anyway, the change of moving out of that place that had a lot of history, I was really sad especially when the whole house was empty, you know, how much memories we had there. Um, yeah, because I painted the whole thing when we moved in, it was all white. I was like, hola, too much white here. i got to change it. So I started painting it. And then after I painted, I, I told the, the owner, I said, oh, hey, I painted the, the house. I hope that was okay. He said, yeah, sure. <laughs> no problem. But yeah, I painted it this real nice brown color and, yeah, it's kind of, uh, you know, just laughed about it and, you know, just had a good time with that whole experience raising my kids in that house. But when it was time to change, we moved in a very smaller one floor um, home. So the, the transition was was difficult. And sometimes my kids would say, oh, dad, this place is too small. And I'd remind them, I'd say, you know, as long as we're together, my boy, it doesn't matter where we live. As long as we're together, you know, we have a roof over our head. I think we should be uh, grateful for that. And they said, ah, we miss our old place. That I said, I know my boy, but you have to change. You have to, you know, evolve. Just like you're growing, you know, you're, you're going to constantly grow. You're going to grow your clothes, your favorite clothes. And so just be grateful. You know, you had an opportunity to, to visit with that for a little while, but you just have to move on in a good way. But take those memories with you. So that's one of the things I try to do is just remember, you know, remind myself of the humor in the situation. Um, you know, find someone to talk to about, you know, the change. Some some of you have good friends that you can uh, confide in. Um, having a strong support network, I think, is, is so beneficial when you're going through change. Um, one of the things I was told is like, don't stress the small stuff. You know, don't stress the small stuff. Just uh, embrace it and um, it'll all work itself out uh, if you work towards a good um, 
structured support system. Um, focus on your values, I think, is also another one. You know, when you value um, kindness, when you value um, hard work ethic, um, you value friends and community. Uh, when I think about community, I think about, you know, what are you giving back to your, your community? What are some of the things you're making your community good um, at? So for me, it was, uh, was always taught to share this understanding of, that I have of the culture, uh, the dancing, celebration, you know, share those things. So that's what I try to do. Um, You know, I've accepted all the things that have happened. Acceptance is a good is a good one too. When you're when we talk about change, accept the fact that uh, sometimes we're we're not in total control of everything, and uh, being okay with that, I think, is uh, a good uh, aspect of uh, embracing change for what it is. So yeah, let's have a let's have a discussion on on how you handle change. Because like I said, how I handle it might be a little bit different than how you handle change. So uh, change is something that we go through um, within a day. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever read or, or heard about Wayne Dyer, but uh, he was a, a, a very great um, human being in regards to a lot of the teachings. And um, I suggest you guys watch The Shift. You can watch it on YouTube. Wayne Doctor, uh, Dr. Wayne Dyer, it's called The Shift. Um, and it talks about and explores how we wake up in the morning and we have all this motivation, we have all this intent. And then by the end of the night, all that you dreamed and wished for becomes a lie. I was like, wow, oh, man, that's, that's really, that's really a deep philosophical way of thinking because in the morning, you have all these intents, right? Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to make my life better. I'm going to make someone else's life better. And then by the end of the night, you know, different thoughts come into you and you think, well, I didn't do what I was supposed to do today. So all those intents become lies. And I think that's one of the things we, uh, we're so good at is uh, lying to ourselves. How many of you have ever broken a New Year's resolution? Put your hand up. Yeah, so you, we've, we've all participated in lying to ourselves at one point or another. And I think that the important thing is not to be so hard on yourself, just to just to say, okay, yeah, well, I didn't make it today, but tomorrow is a new beginning. You know, it's always, a, it's, it's never too late to reinvent yourself. So, yeah, let's have a discussion about uh, how you um, deal with change. Yeah, change was definitely pretty scary as a kid and even growing up as an adult. Um, but since being in recovery, I'm learning to accept change because most times when change comes, there's a reason for it. Yeah, just having more of an open mind, you know, when you're going through change though, like the fear and the, the fear of the unknown and all that can still be tough to go through, but like that acceptance is really a big piece. Um, but even just not numbing myself from feelings or emotions anymore, you know, learning to, to walk through those things usually is so healing afterwards right like it's it's almost like walking through the darkness always comes light right like so for myself I think that change I'm like in the middle you know like I'm really good with a lot of change and then with some change I resist it for example when I moved to Red Deer, I was in Lloyd for seven years raising my daughter with her dad and things just went south with his alcoholism. So I just said, you know what, I'm moving to Red Deer. I'm familiar with the city. I moved five hours away and it didn't phase me, you know, and that was a huge change. I moved here knowing no one and my life is, is pretty good now. But then like 
say the relationship that I just ended, it took me seven months to realize that I had to change. I had to quit hanging on. And all of these teachings with all of you have been like the backbone of my change. And I just, I don't know, like I said, I'm in the middle, like I'm really okay with a lot of change, but then some change, I think the change that's more deeply emotional to me is the stuff that I have a hard time with. Like I'm ending a friendship right now, or I've ended a, like a really long friendship and that kind of change hurts. But the other kind of change, you know, where, you know, I'm changing things that I know need to be changed that have to be done. I find those are much easier in life, a lot easier, but I like that. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm okay with change. I I'm I think I embrace change for the most part. And this change that I've made in my life the last four months has been amazing. And it's just gonna continue to go upwards. I know this because I've decided this and I'm embracing this change right now. So I don't think I struggle with it too much. Um internal change, I don't struggle very much, but if it's something external like a little bit away from my personal life i struggle with it and i find myself like if i look back and think about the changes that happen and i struggle with them um the i think my first reaction is denial i kind of deny that a change is happening and then i like it takes me a little um it takes me um, slow to kind of like adapt to a new change unless it's something personal or within like within my personal life and it brings me to be honest it brings me anxiety especially if it's a big change I try to I try to manage it I try to kind of like sit down and think think about it and kind of like okay see what is this change gonna bring me and i try to focus on the good things and that kind of helped me to accept change good morning joe we're just talking about change how we handle it would you like to share hey thanks uh, adrian uh joe uh, for st john um yeah i could identify with um what the last lady said about um about the denial and um knowing that i gotta do better as in, as in knowing good and not doing good is sometimes feeling good for nothing and uh, i know that some progress needs to be made and i, I as uh, as the last couple of folks were sharing i was just thinking about uh, a support system so i used to live in red deer and i had an awesome support system there lots of community of uh, of other people who wanted to to change um you know spiritually physically mentally and coming here to fort st john i don't have that same sense of community um my support system my primary support system is still in wataskwin so the got a couple of people there that uh, i really lean on and uh and then uh, arizona so uh, folks who used to live in in panoka and, and lacombe uh, who are part of uh, my support system in Fort St. John. I don't have a a, a, a good support system. Uh, Michelle from Fort Mac is part of my uh, support system um, and people who are really trying to think outside of the box. Uh, for me, change has um, change has has been forced on me from um, from me trying every other softer and easier approach and I've, I've tried to change. Um, yeah, if, if there was an easier way, I, I would have probably found it. And so the change that has come has uh, usually come the hard way um, after I've exhausted all the other possibilities and gotten frustrated. And then, then the change uh, began. Uh, connecting uh, with the creator for me is something that... Um, that sometimes I use as a last resource. In other words, uh, you know, I, I t you know, I tell the creator, like, you know, hold my root beer. I got this, and uh, <laughs> and then I don't, and then I gotta 
go back. So uh, I think that I'm, you know, I'm, I'm probably the biggest problem in my life. I can try to tell you, oh, it's, you know, it's that coworker or it's this person or it's, you know, it's my mom. Uh, but the reality is that the biggest problem that I have is, is Joel. And, uh, um, th there's been some progress and I've made some, uh, some, some awesome improvements that uh, I have friends of mine who said, man, you know, I can't believe you're the same guy. And I tell them I'm not, <laughs> I'm a different guy. But I still think that there is um, more, you know, like uh, more, more, the same way that like a bird molts or like a, a, a reptile sheds their skin. I still think that there's layers that I need to keep progressing. And by having friends and a, a support system, then my friends sometimes act it's like a metronome to like keep me going. It's like a drum beat. When I see other people moving, then I got to move as well. Um, so, yeah, maybe I need to think about working on a better support system here in Fort St. John. Thanks for the share. <clears throat> One of the things um, when I when I travel, cause my work, you know, used to take me all over Canada, United States, even abroad, overseas. And one of the things I was uh, I was familiar having a discussion with was uh, culture shock. Um, if you don't want to get culture shock, prepare yourself, research, and do your due diligence in order so that you can, when you get to the location, you understand a little bit of uh, what you're getting in yourself into. And that came from.